Hey chat, how's it going? Welcome to another GBG weekly stream. It's Saturday, I'm back. One day earlier than usual, technically, because we did our GBG stream on Sunday last week. Um, so, hey, don't say I never treat you. I don't know, I don't know where that's going. <laughs> How's everyone doing? <clears throat> As you may be able to detect, I've got a slightly scratchy throat today. I'm really hoping it doesn't turn into a cold. But otherwise, I'm feeling fine. Um, but I may need to take some more regular water breaks than, than usual, drink breaks. Um, can we just take a moment to appreciate Gumby's wonderful um, stream countdown thumbnail recreation? Technically, we have been... Uh, treated to two community thumbnails today. One, the one that I selected, uh, or the one that was selected by Mousy's Wheel of Fortune, I guess I should say, uh, that was created by Jinjo, the thumbnail we used for this stream, and our stream countdown game, which is of course styled after our thumbnails, uh, that was created by Gumby. So thank you to both Jinjo and Gumby, Last week we had Dallas's as well, uh, and we'll be having community thumbnails right up until um, the 100th stream, which is approaching remarkably quickly. Um, let's do some hellos, and then we're going to get started right away. So, who do I see here? I see Chalupa Joe. Hey Chalupa Joe. Gumby, welcome to the stream. Elite, Sylvie, someone. Grape Juice TV, aka Dallas. Super Kerbo, uh, who I don't recognize your name, perhaps you are new. Welcome to the stream if this is your first time. Conquer, Voxy's here, uh, Movies XP. Uh, Mr. O, Curves Workshop. Kerr, Dejected B, Lucian Vela, No No, Arch. Trying to spot everybody. Meowsy, Daigo, Panic. Uh, if I've missed you so far, give me another hello. I'll try to make sure I get everyone. Red. Uh, did I already say hi to Sylvie? Possibly. Whooper Gamer. Uh, Nick the Gamer. The Green Waddle D. RJ the Great. Mercury Angel. I hope your Splatoon games go well. Aurora Fury. Welcome to the stream. I don't recognize that name either. If it is your first time, welcome. I hope you have a good time. All right, let's get started. I've got my, uh, my tea here. Wait, Voxy, I think I, did I miss you? I'm sure I said Voxy right up at the top. Apologies, Voxy. We need to, uh, we need to play the tape back to be sure. All right, so. Um, I need to reset my window here because I had to scale it in to crop it. Hey, Chikosa. Um, where is... Do, 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 do. How do I reset this? <laughs> I cropped my window on OBS and now I can't find the option. Here we go. Uh, fit to screen. Perfect, look at this. Uh, can we have a nice close-up of the um, the hand-drawn node on here as well? Still rocking the uh, janky uh, mouse at the moment. We got a lovely stick node on here. Retry. Looking very. Uh, I don't know. There is a sort of, like, staring off into the middle distance energy to this, uh, this retry. <laughs> the timer. Incredible, honestly. And last but not least, the effects node on. He's got a little kind of, um, shaggy from, from Scooby-Doo, uh, sort of facial hair thing going on. Very nice. All right. Let's bring up the code for that in case you'd like to uh, create your own GBG Weekly Stream 
from the comfort of your home. Um, there is a code. Thank you again, Gumby, for that. Stubble is peak character design, says someone. I, I think I agree. Alright, if this is your first time watching one of these streams, all of the games we'll be playing today were submitted to the Video Dojo Discord. There is a link to the Discord in the description of the stream, so please do send your games there if you'd like them to appear in an upcoming stream. Um, and thank you to everybody that submitted their games this time. We have some big games coming up today, um, so I think it's going to be pretty action-packed. And we're getting started first with a game that was very kindly submitted on behalf of Nodongai by Lucian Vela. So uh, thank you, Lucian, for your uh, kindness in sending this in on Nodongai's behalf. Let me find it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Here it is. It is called LD's Test World. But World has got some uh, real uh, Mr. Saturn looking characters in there. Description. You can triple jump and ground pound. Collect all eight stick pieces and go in the door. Note, go in the door after collecting the star sticks. Okay. Controls A to jump, triple jump, ZL and ZR to ground pound, left stick to run, and right stick for camera. Okay, so it seems like it's got some pretty uh, straightforward sort of third person um, action controls there. I think it's currently a test room slash so uh, showcase, so it's not finished at this point. Oh, Gumby, you made a very good point. I forgot to read your description. Um, we will do that first before we enter today's game. Thank you for reminding me. I feel like that's not the first time I've done that with um, countdown games. Here we go. So, sorry, before we move on to Nerd on Guy's submission, let's quickly read Gumby's description for the countdown game we had today. Description. That's right. With the skills I acquired from copy... I mean helping Dom with some new thumbnails, I remade the original stream countdown in Game Builder Garbage. Wait. Rules. Hey Dom, see those red indications? Simply crop and zoom past the red zone to hide the GBG buttons and fool everyone. Did you fall for it, chap? I'm sure you know where to place the timer. Um, it says press the action button too. But then it doesn't say anything further. Is can can we press the action button? We cannot press the action button. Okay. It was a, a devious Gumby trick. Um, thank you very much, Gumby. Yes, Gumby's description did say game builder garbage. That wasn't me just failing to read as usual. Um, all right, back to LD's test world. We've finished the description on that one, so let's jump in. I'm excited to try. Thank you, Nodon Guy, for sending this in, and thank you to Lucian for submitting it for Nodon Guy. Look at this little guy! Look at this little guy! Yes! Yes! Okay, good start. <gasps> The sound effects and the... the animations! Oh, Nodon Guy! Ah! Okay, okay, one thing at a time. I'm seeing so much good stuff here. Oh yeah, how do we ground pound? Oh, there we go. Welcome to the LD testing room. You play as LD. He's very expressive. LD can run, jump, and triple jump. Have fun! I'm in the tree. I was in the tree. Nice. Oh, the, the little flowers are like launchers. Oh, we descend very slowly. Maybe we're part helium. I really love this sound effect. Flowers send LD into the air. Then he will float down. Swirls heal LD. Oh, I think this is the heal zone. I have been healed. Nice, and we got a little pond too. Touch flower, get dizzy. Oh, 
All right, let's see what's happening over here. Man, it's just so fun to do this somersault jump. Ow! Okay, that's an enemy. Ooh, did you see the animation change too? Okay, I gotta watch out for the snowballs. Should we get hit again? Sorry, little guy, I just wanna see the animation. Oh, it's so good. It's so- Ooh, ooh! No! Run, little guy! Ow! I got pianoed. Classic. Nasty, chompy piano. It's all Mario 64's fault. Hey, Mr. Nomad, did I say hi when you arrived before? Apologies if I missed you. Unless you've just got here, in which case I retract my apology. Bago says this game is absolutely full of character. Agreed. Also, nice, uh, nice little grid here on the blocks. I love how this game looks. Wall jumping on a corner will make LD... Oh, I was doing a voice before, wasn't there? Wall jumping on a corner will make LD climb the ledge. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Oh, are our uh, little Star Ones collectibles here? Nice. No fall damage, which is good. Hey, big boy. Huh? Who is this? Who's this big-headed fellow? This is good. This is nice. This is nice and good. What's up here? Do I need to triple jump? Bam. Bam. Oh. Jump. Jump. Yeah! Oh, it's a little physics platform. Kerr says, unrealistic, head not big enough. <laughs> Man! Nerd on guy, this is fantastic. And uh, Lucian, thank you so much for submitting this on Nerd on Guy's behalf. LD's great. The animation is wonderful. And as your description said, LD is very expressive. Oh no, sorry, it was the uh, text here, wasn't it, that said it. I like how you could build, uh, legit build your own levels in this, says Voxy. Yeah. Oh, hey, let's heal. Very good. All right, as has become tradition with 3D models, I am gonna have to do something truly distressing. Oh! Oh, Boris says, can you ground pound the piano? That's a good point, I didn't try. Oh yes, and we also need to go to the door, don't we? Yep, apologies. Fat Cat, welcome to the stream. Congratulations on reaching 100 subscribers today. Daigo says, if Nodongai keeps working on this, I'm so excited to see what comes out of it. Agreed, me too. Oh, that piano is gone. There's no way out. For you. Ow! Okay, maybe not. I take that back. Let's go through the door. Pardon? Um... Excuse me? I wasn't expecting this. So we got a little uh, template for a boss battle as well.
Now this bo boss battle is kind of my speed. Oh! Okay, um, Bori did say now try ground pounding Dom, so I'll go do that. Also, I love the LD start at the top of the screen. Oh, I just noticed this is a rotating platform. Get out of here. They are potentially indestructible. Let's see. Ah, uh, I cannot be destroyed. I'm too powerful. Konka says, a boss battle without a boss is exactly what Dom needs. I know, I get the sense of accomplishment without any of the gameplay. Oh! Nodon guy was way ahead of me. We can't... We can't Thanos click LD out of existence. Very, very nice. Oh. I love the animation. Uh, I don't know whether Nodon Guy used Geo's 3D character model template as a basis, um, but I think this is a moment to say how wonderful it is that there were resources like Geo's 3D character model template, um, because I think it has ushered in a new era for 3D models in GBG. I love the animation here, the idle animation, that little bobbing. Amazing! Alright, let's show the code for that so you can try it out at home. I would say the controls are incredibly um, responsive and fluid, it feels really good. And it looks fantastic. So I cannot wait, if Nodon Guy does decide to continue working on this, to see what happens next in uh, LD's adventures. Okay, let's move on to the next one, which is submitted by Red. Thank you, Red. Oh, Mr. O says, I know they didn't use a template because this is older than GOO's template. Wow, okay. Hey Masahiro Sakurai, welcome to the stream. Um, you can tell it's getting to autumn because I'm about to do uh, what I haven't done for a long time, which is I'm gonna have to do a, a jumper percent run for a second. I'm wearing my jumper because it was quite cold in here, it has immediately heated up. So give me one second before we move on to the next game. Ugh, I am free! The jumper is back, that's right, Voxy. Like the, uh... Like the, the, the groundhog that spots its... Like the groundhog that spots its shadow. You can... You can time the, uh, the seasons to the appearance and disappearance of the jumper. Okay, so Red's game is called... Video Dojo, the video game. Let's bring up the code. The description, which is in all caps, says, Check out this cool, funny, haha, <laughs> lol, emotional, fun, lol, cool, story-based, cool, funny, haha, <laughs> lol, emotional, haha, <laughs> fun, lol, video dodge game. Whew, controls none, difficulty none. Thank you, Red, aka Butter, for that description. Let's a go. As Sonic once said. <laughs> oh, it's been a long time since we've had a less than two second long game with an explosion at the end. That's me speaking? Wow, I didn't know I was the voice of Huey's Diner. Very good. I want to see the texture. Oh, it's spread across two. Oh, 
Uh, POV, you're a sim watching television. Wait. Daigo says, this is the first appearance of Long Dom in GBG. Hmm, good point. <laughs> Dom voice reveal. <gasps> it was speaking animalies, that's right, Mercury. There we go. Long Dom Silver. Thank you very much, Red, for Video Dojo, the video game. Finally. I've made it! My own video game! Alright, next up... <laughs> Dallas aka Grape Juice TV says, 10 out of 10, life changing. We're heading back to the world of 10 years of chasing tales. This is now the 16th entry in Meowsy's uh, series. The description says, Voxy has gotten too powerful. Using the foamy blaster won't work. Controls? None. Difficulty? No. Alright, we got another animation from Meowsy. <laughs> Voxy says, what? <laughs> Here we go. Here we diner. Oh, Voxy's gone Super Saiyan in the background. Well then. Candy Counter says, Dom already revealed his voice since his first stream. I've been doing impressions this whole time. Oh my goodness. Who is going to be powerful enough to stop Voxy? Voxy burning down the trees is a mistake because bananas grow in trees. Let's have a look at the programming screen. <laughs> Mercury says, but like only three different impressions total. <laughs> yeah, well, still. That's a very good, very small Voxy. How many pixels is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Even less if you exclude the border. I think Meowsy's pixel art is always very, very good. One tiny bun. <laughs> one to one scale voxy. <laughs> there we go. There is the code. I would recommend heading to Meowsy's programmer ID if you would like to see how we got to this stage of the story. All right, I am very excited for this. I have not read the full description yet, but I'm excited just by the title and the programmer who has submitted it. This is coming in from someone. It's been a little while since we had a uh, full game submission from someone. Uh, wait, what's... Uh, Which programmer code are you referring to? Triple O's and a word. Oh, Meowsy's programmer ID. I see, yeah. It's not triple... Oh, the, the code... <laughs> triple zero now. Four megabytes. Anyway, sorry. Um, yes. Someone has submitted Kirby versus Dark Matter. Hey, Lith Bell. Was that message delivered by the Voxy uh, delivery service? The description says, A boss fight showcasing a slightly altered version of Jair, Jair Studios, Kirby template. The first code is just a simple control playtest similar to the Peachy Practice tutorial I used before my Count Black fight. Yes, I remember that. It was really wonderful. Uh, the controls are as follows. Hold B to inhale, press B to spit a projectile back out. It's Kirby, you know this already. Press A to jump. You have four mid-air jumps. They can only be input when Kirby is below a certain height. Because of this, you can only float so high, but what happens if you mash A uh, below the cutoff to gain momentum? 
ask someone in their description. Playtime, five to 10 minutes, and it has two codes. So this was created by someone, but it's adapting JS Studio's Kirby moveset template. Very nice. Thank you, someone. I can't wait to check it out. Okay, this is the moveset practice. Hi. Oh, I shouldn't do that ever, but definitely not when I've got a slightly sore throat. All right, let me refresh myself on these controls already. B2 inhale. Uh, and spit back out once we've got it. Okay, good, let's go. Mash, jump button below line. Ah, very clever, okay. Okay, as long as we stay below the line, we can fly. Oh no! No, I, I misunderstood. We just have to mash below the line. It oh no. <laughs> I don't think this is meant to be hard. I don't think this is part of the challenge. <laughs> I know I only get four mid air jumps. I, I misunderstood the line thing. <laughs> Tutorial whammy. Oh no! Oh no! Okay, we're good. Right, so even when we're below the line, we do only get four mid air jumps. Oh, right. Right, 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 right. I see. Thank you, Dallas, for your explainer. So it's about mashing them all at once to go super high? Maybe. Sharifa so says, drop down under the box instead of bashing your head into it. <laughs> okay. All right, here we go. I bashed. I bashed my head. Let's see if we can go over the box. Uh... Oh! Okay, I'm good. I thought I hadn't got my jumps back. Ugh. I love the little blink for the uh, idle animation on Kirby. Nice. Can I break the dice? I can! Okay, here we go. Into the real stage. Oh no! Oh man! This rocks! Of course someone would do an awesome boss fight. Oh no! I'm being sucked in! Let me out. Let me out. Who needs Forgotten Land? I've got GBG. Chalupa says someone's bosses are so good. Agreed. Okay, come on. Stick away from it. Oh, that's a scary attack. Okay, I need to stay off the ground when the eyes turn red. Or when the floor turns into eyes, I suppose. Oh, I love that animation. I wonder how many frames there are in that animation. It looks so smooth. Conker says, Dom, look at the walls. Why, did I miss something on the walls? No. 
Oh. Agreed. Floor animation is incredible. I truly feel like we have not seen any sort of plateau in the, like, pushing of mechanics and techniques and limits in GBG, both visually and gameplay-wise. Like, there was genuinely part of me, even... And this wasn't, like, a pessimistic view or anything. This was just, like... I honestly thought it was realistic to think that after maybe the one-year anniversary, we we'd kind of seen every trick that we could squeeze out of GBG. And I feel like already today, uh, we have proven that once more, or the community has proven that once more. Hey, Rainbow Friends, welcome to the stream. Kirby, don't look so happy about being sucked into a black hole. Oh no! Ow! Ouch! Ouch! Oh! I got stuck in a bad cycle there. Okay, that was the wrong button. That was on me. I do like the BGM change. The boss has certainly gotten a lot more aggressive in this phase. Oh no! The black hole's gotten stronger! Ouch. Oh, okay, and that stays on for a lot longer now as well. I'm gonna- I'm gonna get my, uh... My pink... My pink tushy kicked here. Okay, I really need to concentrate here. I can't take any more hits. Okay, I immediately took a hit. No, Kirby! Ah, oh, man. Okay. I know the drill now. I took a lot of hits at the start before I knew what was happening. Can I cancel the float by pressing B? Yes, I can. Okay. That is good to know. Oh no! I do love the juxtaposition of Kirby getting potentially stretched into a cosmic noodle uh, and the little smiley concentrating face. I am sweating, Rainbow Friends. This is a tough tough boss. Oh, I think I managed to get two hits in there. I'm pretty pleased with that. Daigo says, has anyone pointed out how good the camera work is as well? Uh, I don't, I haven't seen anything, but you are 100% right. The camera work is so, so good. Um, I am sure you are all very pleased that I am not just Wang in the camera all over the place like I normally do during during someone's boss fights. Ouch! Ouch! I can't get any stars from that move.
I don't think I hit him. Okay, cool. Got that hit in. Slowly but surely. Ouch. Mm. Oh my goodness. Oh no, it's all falling apart. Stay focused, stay focused. Okay, I got a hit in, but I took a hit. We traded. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, I missed the start. little bit of uh, detritus got me. Alright, one last try and then we'll have to count this as a wormy. I'm pretty sure I'll get it this time. There's no reason why I wouldn't. I've got- I know all the tricks this villain's got up their sleeves. Someone says, oh dear, this may take longer than the expected time. Don't worry, someone. That is down to me, not to you. I think it's always safe to add, like, an extra 20%, maybe 50%, on the uh, amount of time you dedicate to, uh, like, <coughs> excuse me, expected uh, playtime on a run. If I don't get it this time, I'm going to be disappointed with myself because I truly do know how to avoid every single one of these attacks. Oh no! Okay, I didn't get the star. Can the black hole actually do damage? I guess maybe if you let it take you into the center of the hitbox, it actually will. Okay, we're below halfway now. Okay, I just need to not try and grab stars when it is doing that in this phase. Black Hole's central hitbox's strongest attack. Gotcha. Okay, it's neck and neck. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, yep, we're seeing that black hole in full effect here. Oh, no. Please. Okay, I'm gonna get some distance. Ouch. 
No, Kirby! Ah, okay. Man. We'll have to... We will have to come back to this. Oh, I nearly had it. <clears throat> Someone, is there a second phase or or do you would you rather not say? <laughs> Someone says dark matter victorious. What a dark day for Dreamland. Foxy says, I feel like someone needs to increase how much damage you deal to their bosses. It's basically a guaranteed wormy every time, lol. Only because of me. The end of the health bar is the end of the game. One last go. One last go. I'm doing it, chat. Send a like to give me one little uh, HP point extra in this boss fight. Can't tell whether it's better to run or to jump away from the black hole attack. Oh, that was weird. It only did that once. Oh, wait, maybe in this part of the fight, it does only do it once. Oops, I landed on that star. Oh no, I did I did inhale it. Drats. Pretty quick at this first phase now. Run Kirby. Someone says, I always scale difficulty to my skill. Uh, yeah, I think that's completely natural uh, for all of us that don't have, like, play testers. Oh, I can jump. I can jump over. That's better, I think. That's good to know. Because that gets me in line for some more stars. I didn't realize I could jump over. Yeah, that's definitely going to help us here. Run, little Kirby. I'm not going to get greedy either. I'm just going to try and get one star per move. Ouch! Got hit by moon dust. Ouch. Okay, you can't triple jump when you've got a star in your mouth. Oh, is that gonna... Is that gonna be what finishes me off here? Come on, no! <laughs> I don't really know what I'm supposed to do against the, uh, against the dust. 
Oh man, that is so good. Okay, wait, I want to bring up the the code for the main game. There you go. Uh, there is someone's programmer ID and the game code, but there are two codes associated with this project. The practice. Oh, I've got to jump over the dust. But the thing was, when I was jumping, I felt like I got sucked into the black hole and took bigger damage. Jump above the dust. Alright, multiple people are saying it. Okay, I will attempt that during the uh, wormy run. Um, amazing stuff. Thank you very much, someone, for sending that in. Really great use of the um, Kirby move template that Jer made. Daigo says that was incredible. Thanks, Daigo. I'm pretty, I'm pretty impressed with my skills too. No, uh, I know that Daigo is referring to someone's incredible work there. Speaking of Daigo, Daigo, aka Frodo, has submitted a game this week. I am very excited by the name of this one too, and that beautiful thumbnail. Look at that. Look at that! Description. So this game has been sitting in my library almost since GBG was launched. Actually, I think it was my second ever creation, but lost interest in continuing it. I can't stand to see my abandoned games, so I had to do something about it. Conveniently, I got an Arduino recently, so I decided to give this game a new experimental look. How to play. At the time I started development of this, I didn't know how to make golf ball mechanics, so I just used the left stick to move around and quickly get the flag stick before the timer ends in these seven differently themed levels where gravity is a key mechanic. Controls, left stick equals move. Difficulty, medium to hard. Around 30 seconds to 10 minutes depending on skill level. Uh, <laughs> I see Daigo fully understands the potential time difference when a baby gamer is in control. Um, status is complete. Thank you very much, Daigo, for sending this in. I cannot wait to play. Zero G Golfing. Oh, okay. Oh my goodness, okay, I'm running out of time. <sighs> We've got a gravity mechanic here. So we need to get enough momentum to leave the atmosphere and then get brought in to the other planet. No! Oh! Oh, it's the... It's the... Ice Creamlian wall. Okay, so oh, I think the UFO's tractor beams will pull you in. I love how this looks, and I really like this mechanic. Oh, bounty planet. Is that a donut planet? Oh, we started in space here. Okay, don't touch the soft serves. Wait, hang on, wait. Oh, I have to drag this with me! Oh, I'm definitely gonna run out of time on this one. Oh, you have to do it like in a boss rush. Oh man, this is gonna be very tricky. Okay, here we go. No, I'm getting pulled back in. Come on, break free! Oof, oof, oof. Dallas says this is a super cool concept. I agree. And I really like how it looks with the Arduino textures. Textures, excuse me. Oh no, come on. Get in! No! I'm trying to work out what that is on the left that has the... has the hole. Is it a sphinx? Oof! 
<laughs> it's wormy mercury. What is that? Is that a sphinx? Tiger says it's a sphinx. Nice. Oh, did you hear the sound of the golf ball hitting the hitting the rocket there? That was great. Mmm, donut planet. Griffin says, look at the code when finished, please. Okay, shall do. All right, in that case, let's barge our way through here. Now we know what this does. Okay, go. Come on. Oh, no, no, no. Please, no! Hmm. Hey, Zer, welcome to the stream. Zer asks, was this inspired by gravity? I'm not familiar with gravity, I don't believe. Oh no! Um, but I'm sure that was directed at Daigo. Ricocheted off the rocket. I also really love the weirdly um, successful optical illusion of the the flag having like an actual hole below it. It looks so good. It really looks like there is a hole in the planets. I can't read chat right now, by the way. Sorry if I'm missing any of your messages. Oh, I'm wasting so much time up here. Pause for a second. Unused thumbnail, courtesy of Dali 2! Wow, did uh, Daigo run the thumbnail through Dali to get some, um, to get some alternatives? Okay, here's my strat. Instead of trying to, like, roll around the planet to get momentum, I am going to commit to fully, like, just forcing my way out of the atmosphere and the gravitational pull. When I'm when I get to the one where I need to push past the soft serve with the like the defense, the little horseshoe defense, I'm going to have to really navigate my way between the two red bouncy planets as precisely as possible. Because if I get stuck up there, it's game over. Okay, here we go. Next one, I need to watch out for the rockets as well. Oh no, not this one. I actually don't want to go too quick. Uh, okay, good. This one's not too bad. Here is this one. Neither is this one now. We know we can fly with that. Okay, nice. Clean through the planets. Come on, get the block up there. Go fast, please. Go fast, please. No! Mm. I technically crossed it. I think that might be the last stage. Because I saw the confetti. And there's not normally confetti, is there? I need a clear, clean and clear run, though. It is the last stage. Ooh. Oh! This is not a very smooth run so far. Not good! Very bad! Very, very bad! <laughs> okay, this is my last go, because technically we did beat it. I just won that clean victory. Uh. I kind of love the fact that the... 
the goal is not too generous. Like, I do like the fact that you really need to target it specifically. It's not just kind of a general hitbox around the flag. Great start. Great continuation. Go! Uh, okay, let's go for realsies for realsies, no take backs. Maybe disable the timer. Mm, I can do this. I can do this. I can definitely do this. I only need like a smooth run at the very start of the uh, final stage and I'll have it. Okay, here we go, victory lap. And by victory lap, I just mean arriving at the destination. Mm. <laughs> oh man! All right, let's look at the uh, let's look at the code. <laughs> Daigo says, "Quote victory lap." Here's a sphinx. It's got a tiny head. <laughs> hey, Mr. No Name the Fourth. Uh, there is a link to the description in, the, or sorry, a link to the Discord in the description of the stream. Um, all of the uh, game codes were sent via that. Yeah, it looks like it's attract objects that is achieving the effect. Where's the donut planet? I really love the donut planet. Earlier? No, later. There's the... Oh! Oh, look at this. Delicious donut. Man! Daigo, not only an incredibly impressive um, creation, but wild that mechanically this was your second game ever made on GBG, that you've then gone back and spruced up with Arduino. Um, I know that you kind of put quotes around, like, experimental style, uh, but I genuinely think it looks very, very good. Oh, this is what I missed! Okay, so there's the final one. It sets off the fireworks, and then we would have seen... A T hank you and a little emoji. I should go back to this in wormy heads. Well, we can add this to the um, to the list of wormy heads, but I'll probably only well we'll see. I may only have time for one wormy at the end. See you, Rainbow Friends. Thanks for hanging out. There we go. Give this a try at home. The code is listed here under game ID. Next up, oh hang on, let me just have a quick sip of my tea. Next up we have a creation from Conquer. It is called Yoshi's Programmed World, which is a fantastic name. Let me see if I can find it. Look at that little sprite on the thumbnail. Description. Yoshi was squashed overnight by bad aliens. Find the aliens and defeat them once and for all. If you want to play the full game, download all codes. If you just want to play one, download one. It's that simple. This is my first game after the GBG tutorial, so don't expect too much, please. I now translate it to English and improved some games. Controls. Left stick to move, right stick for the camera, A and B to jump, Y to punch stuff. 
The difficulty is listed as it's a full game, so it's easy at the beginning and hard at the end. And it will take somewhere between 2 and 15 minutes. Oh, Dallas points out that we've had a, quite a few triple zero games this time. We've got another one here. Um, and there are three codes associated with this one, starting with the code that I have here. Okay, let us begin. Thank you very much for sending this in, Conker. Oh, that's a great animation. Oh man, we've had such nice characters in this one. Okay, Yoshi Town is 20 meters that way. Look at this little flower. The Yoshis got flattened overnight. Help them find out who did this to them. Oh, the fluff balls are collectibles. That's a that's a rare one. Happy Yoshi. Oh, that's a deep pool. Oh, there's a couple of fluff balls down here. I'm glad I went in to check it out. Foxy says, what was that? It was a... It was a flawless Yoshi impression. Ugh, squidgy mud. Can I touch the soft serves? I'm guessing not, because they're the baddies, right? Oh, but I can punch, right? <laughs> Yoshi, no! Oh. Do I know about the Resident Evil character called Tofu? Yes. Dago says, I love the art style of this game. Me too! I love the bushes and the flowers. Um, they've got a real Yoshi feel to them. Okay, back into the cave we go. Oh, the slimy cave. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I think there's something about the two frame animation and sound effect that makes that very funny to me. Alright, there's the goal, but I'm guessing we'll need to collect everything before we can head through there. What's that pink UFO doing over there? <laughs> Aggrieved Saft, it is so cute. This is Conker's game called Yoshi's Programmed World. Thanks, Red Yoshi. I think the Red Yoshis indicate where apples are going to be. Also, is there any thing near the sign that said to like Yoshi Town the other way, or is the way blocked? A fluff ball. I'm glad I came back. I just realized Yoshi is um, like Sonic running. Okay, let's head to Blue Hill. Blue Hill Zone. Oh yes, a Naruto run. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely is a Naruto run. Goal! Hey, nice. So presumably we could have reached the goal um, even without collecting everything, but we got a perfect for collecting everything. 
Ooh, we're up in the sky! Oh. Up this mountain is part of for a rocket! With this, we can fly to the UFO! Hmm? Oh no! Hmm! Oh! Skills! Look at that! Completely intentional skills! Yeah, the clouds below look so good! And this is just such a perfect track. Perfect BGM for this environment. Ooh, can we punch this? Yes, we can punch this. It does not break it, though. Oh, with Oh, I thought we were slim enough to, uh... Squeeze by. Yeah, Ballot, the Yoshi sprite is so good, I agree. You need to punch it 120 times or you can use the football. Nice, thanks for the info, Conker. Let's use the football. Nice that you've got an alternate way of doing it, though. I guess in case you lose the football. Hey! Oh, sneaky little apple. One sneaky apple. There we go. Let's keep heading upwards. Watch out for the ice cream lions. Oh, overshot it. What happens if you fall off the stage? I don't know, and I'm not about to find out willingly. Oh, okay, I got scared. There's the rocket part. That's one of three parts for the rocket. Let's go to the next one. Uh. Hello there. There we go. Oh, that wasn't a perfect. Hmm. Which fluff balls did I miss? I'm not sure. Press A to jump and use the left stick for your speed. In this direction must be... Oh, in this direction must be the two out of three rocket part. Yoshi's got a license? Make sure I don't miss any. Oh, it's too steep. Okay. Oh, wow. So you really have to plan your route carefully through here to make sure you get maximum... Maximum fluff balls. Rip Yoshi? Oh, no. Oh. Oh, nice use of the blocks in the background as the pyramids. That's very smart. The purple UFO's back! Oh no! Ah. Yeah, the moon in the background looks so good, agreed, Roxy. Beep, beep, beep. This Yoshi is reversing. Over there is Person City, watch out! <gasps> okay, I want to go back to this one and see if I can get a uh, better score because we flew through this stage. As you get so much momentum, it's very easy to move very quickly. Ah, so there was a fluff ball up there that I already missed. Oh, apple there that I missed.
it doesn't look like you can go back for it. I like the way that these blocks are suspended from above. Try and jump over the fence at the start. Oh, this way. Hello, hello, hello. Ah! Someone says, I love a good genre swap partway through the game. Me too. Oh, was it a secret route? Oh, I went too far back. Okay, let's see. I love the purple car as a um, decoration in the background. It's such a nice touch. I want to go for that apple this time. Yeah, nice. I got it. See you, Panic. Oh, nicely spotted, Dallas. Dallas said the car jumps over the purple purple UFO. So yeah, I did spot there was a purple UFO uh, traveling down the road, but I didn't realize the cars jumped over it. Back we go. Oh, there's an apple there. I love how small Yoshi is in the car. Ugh, oh, very, very nice. I'm gonna show you the first code in Conker's Yoshi's Programmed World series here. Uh, there was three codes for that. Episode one, which is this one here. Episode two, which is Go Big. And episode three, which is Desert Car. Really, really nice stuff. I love the world design, and I did as uh, I think it was someone said earlier, love the uh, genre change in the third episode there. Really great stuff, wonderful sprite work on Yoshi as well, and very, very fun. Hey Rethobot, welcome to the stream. Okay, next up, DRN. Okay, DRN Makes sent in a countdown game. Um, however, we'd already had one submitted from Gumby, so I think this is probably a good time for me to grab a drink, because um, if you weren't here at the beginning of the stream, I've got a little bit of a sore throat today. Um, so I'm going to try and be good to myself and make sure I keep hydrated. Um, so we will put on DRN's countdown as our drink break screen this time. So I'll catch you on the other side.
Hey chat, I am back from my drink break. Um, I had my mic muted, but... Can you hear this? DRN used the HD rumble in the Joy-Con to have a little dee-doo, dee-doo, um, for every second of the countdown. DRN has become every fancy node on here and has got a cube form at the top of the television. What's flashing behind the counter, asks Kirby. You mean the effect? I don't see anything else flashing. It could just be the shadows. Okay, so what we got here, we've got tuna, person, fluff ball, two Joy-Cons, television, of course. Oh! Oh, I see what you're referring to now. Go ahead. <sighs> I'm not sure what it says. I guess it's going to be something that's going to appear on the screen once the countdown ends. So we could we could just hang out here for another minute and 50, find out what it is. Does the minute counter make a hit effect when it's changing? We'll see in 40 seconds. I'll definitely check the programming screen afterwards, Kerr. Nick the Gamer says, I love TV DRN. Yeah, I like the DRN that's actually on the screen being the little fluff ball. What water did I get? I got this, um, I got this really fashionable brand of water that's, um, that's really big right now. It's, um, the brand is called Tap. Got tap water. See you, someone. Thanks for hanging out and thank you for your submission. Okay, there's a minute left. Yes, there we go. Uh, Dallas was asking, did the minute also create a uh, effect? It does. I've already finished all my water. I must have been thirsty. <laughs> Big boy says DRN has his own show. true. It's undeniable fact. I just realized, are all of these objects attached to the string node on? Look at the fluff ball. Okay, last 10 seconds. I hope my Joy-Con don't run out of battery. <laughs> There we go! You just got sun- <laughs> You just got sunshine. Go ahead now, Dom. Do your thing. Also, press the plus button. <laughs> I love the, uh, infinitely looping, screaming woman. Screaming DRN. I'm glad we waited. Wait, also, did we just gain three extra DRNs to the left of the, uh, television frame there. Alright, let's, uh... Let's have a look. How many DRN faces are there? Look down for the answer and check out all the comment nodons. <laughs> Thanks to RGC for the gift subs. Double click for a surprise. <laughs> Is that a blobbish DRN? I think it might be. I think that might be all the comment node ons. Let's do a quick scan around, make sure I didn't miss anything. Okay, I think that's pretty conclusively everything. There's the screaming one, woman DRN. 
Very nice. Oh. Press ZR plus left stick. because it resets you on the programming screen to the center. So it's a little shortcut to get to the DRN signature there. Nice. DRN, thank you for that very creative DRN countdown. What a great little break as we continue through our stream. Next, we have a creation from Nick. Thank you, Nick, for sending this in. I'm also very excited by the title of this one. It is called Sorta Civilization Demo. And Nick's written quite a long description here, so I'm going to read through this. I've decided to try and sorta recreate the game Civilization. Sid Meier's Civilization. In Game Builder Garage, it's a demo, but I'm not going to be making any more Civ recreations. It's a sort of framework for other people to make them. Also, Dom, I don't mind being called Nick Cringe. Yeah, I realized, Nick. I, uh, I was kind of joking last week, um, but thank you for the clarification. Still working on that cursed Goose Simulator DLC, so yeah. Also, I was rewatching last week's live stream because I couldn't watch it live, and noticed Curb asking if Doll was cancelled. Doll is another game that Nick Cringe makes. Um, Nick goes on to say, "No, it's not. I'm just passing the rights to make the third game or something else in the series to anyone in this community." Sorry, the code is messy. I literally made this in three hours. Left stick to move the cursor, A to select other controls shown on screen. Difficulty medium, and it takes around 10 minutes to play. It's uh, a framework for other people to modify and add to. Nice, thank you Nick for creating this template and framework as you, as you say. Um, I'm excited to see your interpretation of Civ here in GBG. Ooh, I wasn't expecting the free cursor movement here on first glance. I thought it was going to be tile-based, but I like it. Okay. Village Hunger at 47, Wood at 0, Stone at 0, Y for upgrades. Okay, so I guess we need some wood. And some stone. Let's try pressing Y and see what we've got. Faster stone production, it costs 25 wood. Faster wood production costs 25 stone. Fishing hut, 25 wood plus 25 stone. And ascend, 50 stone and 50 wood. Daigo says, for a game done in three hours, this already looks so impressive. Yeah, even if it was done in uh, twice that long, it would be very impressive. All right, I hope my hunger doesn't get too, too extreme here. So I'd like to go for the uh, fishing huts, really. A hey, Dream Dimensions, welcome to the stream. Do I still get... Oh, I do get wood and stone on this screen as well. I like the little representations of each of the um, resources here on this screen as well. You know what, Nick? You may have given me a bit of an inspiration for something that I um, have been struggling with for a while, control scheme-wise. Welcome, Gumby at night. <laughs> why... <laughs> Gumby, why are you at night? Oh, it's going to be very tight, isn't it? I need to get over to the upgrade screen now, because otherwise we're going to run out. Am I about to bad day my entire village here? Quick! Stone, hurry up! Oh. Okay, I need to move quick this time. J 
just a reminder to everybody, please avoid using uh, alt accounts, both to keep chat flowing nicely, but also um, there's no point claiming memberships on multiple accounts. I don't know what you're talking about, Arch. <laughs> This is very peaceful ambience here in Civ. So essentially what we need to do now is just make sure we keep our eyes on the wood and stone count. Um, and make sure that we get 25 in each so we can make the fishing hut first. Oh, it may not be possible. Let's see, because I think I just took too long clicking the um, stone and wood last time. So I think we should be on track for 25 uh, of both of these resources before Village Hunter drops too low. Project Jar Jar Binks. I have no further comments, Foxy. I can't believe you would leak my Star Wars themed creation. Okay, I'm gonna move over to the upgrade screen in anticipation. See you, Daigo! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Wood. Okay, great. Oh, village hunger is still going down, though. Oh, fish take 20 seconds. Okay. I think we're forever going to be nearly starving, then. Uh, we can make some, we can make a quick modification to increase the rate of wood and stone and also to maybe extend the, uh, oof, extend the hunger meter. Let's see where these values may be. Okay, there's 25. Okay, so let's just turn that timer right down. To one second. And... Um, that might do us. Jack Tastic says, "Isn't this game dead? You're referring to um, you're referring to GBG. If so, absolutely not. It is alive and kicking. Did I move the right one? says, but it's not civilization without waiting and doing nothing. Jacktastic says, are you making a simulator? This is actually uh, a creation made by one of the members of the GBG community, Nick the Gamer, who's in chat. I'm just playing through creations today. Mm, I don't know which variable to adjust here. 
That's all texture stuff. I guess I could up the constant here. That wouldn't harm anything. Oh, that's how... Oh, hang on. Maybe it would harm something. I, yeah, I, f I truly disagree, RGC. I think, like, the creations we've seen today already prove that there is still so much to wring out of GBG that hasn't already been wrong, <laughs> to continue that analogy. You know what I mean? There is there is still much so much creativity that people are bringing to it. To the left of the main area, there's a tiny little counter next to a three-second timer. the left of the main area. There's a five second timer. And a 2.5 timer. Oh. You mean right. There it is. There it is. Perfect. We'll never be hungry again. While we're waiting for these uh, numbers to get up to 25, I guess I'll talk a little bit about my feelings about GBG. I think most of this has already been discussed, but when GBG came out, or I guess even prior to release, I was like, GBG is going to be something really fun to play for the next couple of months. I think people will make some really small, pretty basic, but uh, fun creations. I didn't even think they would really get to the level of being specifically games. I thought they would just be little kind of proof of concept creations. So when I went into it at the beginning, and within the first day, there was like wild stuff being made. I always think of that Nintendogs creation as being the thing that to me um, made me realize that there was more potential here than I saw and that then Nintendo was really able to fully uh, express in the, in the uh, trailers prior to release. And then I remember there was that one game, I'm pretty sure it was by a Korean creator um, that was like a first person shooter with a sprite based um, like hood and it was a 3D environment. And that also really, really amazed me. But then looking back on most of those things, it, it they, they, they do feel very limited compared to what we've seen now. There was almost like amazing techniques being showcased, but I think the things that we've seen as we got past the one year anniversary has just been like a greater depth and a greater layering of different techniques. Um, I am so excited to see what more we'll bring out of this. I mean, I even said that at the beginning with... Um, I think it was during someone's creation that um, we're constantly surprised, or I'm constantly surprised by the things that we we see appear here. So instead of the fishing boats, let's do this and this. So then we speed up the production, and I think we'll get to 50 pretty quick. Arch says, I was hoping GBG would be updated over time and get bigger, but still the stuff you can accomplish in this game is still impressive. Yeah, agreed. I mean, it would be nice to see support. Um, it's very unlikely that we will, but um, I I genuinely don't think... Like, the number of creations and the number of creators doing cool stuff hasn't decreased in a significant way. But I think we're never going to see it reach... Like a, uh, we're never going to see it get like a huge number of new users, which is a sad thing that I think upgrades um, or updates from Nintendo would have allowed it. It would have given it a kind of second lease of life and it might have brought new people into the fold. Um, but yeah, I think we very much, I guess the, the only thing I would say about 
GBG being quote unquote you know dead or dying would be uh, the maximum number of people are creating has been reached a long time ago and it's going to decrease over time um, but I think the community that is here is very very um, like close knit and of course very talented and very um, lovely um, so while there are still people hanging out and while there are still people chatting it is far far from from that Lucien says on the topic of quote dead games wouldn't you say WarioWare DIY or Freaky Forms are considered dead too well that's it yeah I I don't consider GBG dead but I also don't consider WarioWare or Freaky Forms dead because as long as it's that same thing I was just saying then as long as there are still people making for it doesn't matter if it's no longer got support from the developer because they are so uh they are so um linked to community creations as the life force of those games Ta -da! there we go nick thank you for sending in your little civilization test demo i would love to see uh the idea expanded upon by anyone who is feeling up to the challenge really liked the way that you represented the tiles I think I said that earlier as well but the um, wood tiles and the rock tiles as well as the little fishing village that you can build once you've got that upgrade all right let's move on to our next one I saw a little sneak peek of this on the discord this is from whooper gamer uh, and it is called crazy worm stairs challenge uh, a great name um, the preview of this that I saw got me very excited as well. The description says, The first demo for the Crazy Worm series. Enjoy the stairs of doom and find the secret hashtag D underscore worm quote and... I don't know what that means. Uh, hey Red Lava, welcome to the stream. Find the controls yourself. They're simple, I swear. Difficulty, pretty easy. Playtime, 5 to 10 or sorry 5 to 15 minutes status demo of course thank you very much Whooper Gamer, aka Spaghetti for sending this in let's give it a try we've heard of Wormy Head now let's get it ready for one crazy worm nice crazy worm logo this is the beta. Look at this crazy worm! I believe it is just left stick to move. And... Oh! Jump with B. Chomp with right trigger. I'm not sure what X does. For future... For future submissions, Whooper, I would very much appreciate um, having the controls listed. Because um, if I have to guess, I might miss stuff. One. Oh, is this a, like a getting over it style game? Oh, I think this is like a getting over it style game. That one sends you backwards. Ooh. 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 Okay, new record. <gasps> oh, Easy come, easy go, I guess, on that stairs. Mm. Hey! Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's jump back in. I want to just be the worm a bit longer. Also, I love that we escaped from the test tube here. I didn't realize that these were like the broken pieces of glass at first. <laughs> Gumby says, worming over it with wormy wormson. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I'm chomping. Bye, no, no. Try going left. Alright, we'll try it again, uh, Kirby Super, after I've jumped off the world here. Bye, Wormy! Alright, let's see what happens if we go left straight away. I don't think there's anything there, I think it's just the... Uh, I think it's just the staircase for this beta version. I'm excited to see what the controls will do. I feel like we'll have to fight enemies at some point. I do like the spinny strats for getting up the stairs. <laughs> Yeah, helicopter mode. If I do it fast enough, can I actually fly? Uh, no, it doesn't seem so. Activate the wormy copter. Man, you do get some serious momentum though. Wait, you can't tell if what was a joke. What did I do? Nice spaghetti. AKA Wooper. Thank you very much for sending in this. I cannot wait to see what more you do with it. I think it's a fantastic um, uh, little mechanic to have the segmented worm. I love the way it controls, and I am excited to see what the chomp and the kind of tail um, strike will be used for in either later versions or subsequent releases. Hey Plaxus, welcome to the stream. Okay, let's move on to our next one, which is from Elite Octo. And it is called Dom Gallery. Description. An asset pack I made for making DSA slash Video Dojo themed games. I mean, people like that, right? Do they like blinking frogs? While they like normal frogs and frogs who are magic GBG wizards. Wait, should I shorten it to whiz? No, that sounds weird. Hmm. This game, or well not really a game, is it? It's a Dom Gallery, like the title says. What's up with these titles? Why are we gotta name things these days? And why is 2 plus 2 equals 4? Controls. Left stick to move, B to jump, right stick for the camera, ZL and ZR to grab, left and right, A to slow time, up and down arrows to move hand forward and backwards. Difficulty? Easier than crash landing. Status complete. Thanks Elite for sending this in. Let's head to the Dom Gallery. Oh, ho, ho. look who we have here. Okay. Ah. Banana Bunny. Condiment person. Funny blue spaceman. The Major. Pingu. Splatoon. Django. The All Seeing Eye. The Cranberries. Wait, who's this? Wait, who is this? Wait, who's this? Oh! Oh, 
Oh, it's Mousy! Oh, how could I forget my own son? Okay, go over there, Mousy. Nintendo. Um. Um. The number seven. The toad. Goomba Michael. The person node on. The amphibian. And the Pringle Man. Head to the weapon zone. Oh, is this a is this a crusher? I think it might be a crusher. Huh? Foxy says, said you didn't do the Smash announcer voice to introduce them. Well, seeing as I got them all wrong, I should do them again in a minute. I'm trying to work out how to activate this. Or if I can activate this. I'll put a guy on the cylinder. Okay. Oh, look, it's even got a little mousy um, logo on the side. <gasps> mousy! Oh, no! The second cheese maze. A uh, mage. <laughs> oh, I think we got some little green screen booths here as well. Okay, let's reset. I am going to swing the hammer. Alright. Duck. 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 Goose! Duck. I like the fact that there's a, um, an effect node on there as well. Oh no! Can I smack the frog? The smoothly br blinking frog. Give credit if you use these in a game. Grape Juice TV says this BGM slaps. Yeah, I'm a big fan of the new Aphex Twin album. <laughs> Released. Oh, hang on. Released uh, solely in GBG. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, the explosion button resets. It resets everybody? Aha, got it. Alright, I've got to slap the frog, apparently. Why do I keep getting mad dash? There's a, there's a button dedicated to, um... Mad dashing Kirby Super. And I keep accidentally pressing it. Get out of here, frog. Ooh, I just had an idea. Okay, hang on, wait. Let's recreate episode, uh... 14. Oops. Come back here. Okay, there's the frog. Where's Mustard? Mustard's on the front row. There's Mustard.
Curbs Workshop asks why I called them the person node on. Well, I don't know whether you noticed, but I named every single person here incorrectly. So it was a continuation of that goof. Alright. Now I gotta get Dom. Okay, here we go. Oh, hi, Dom. What are you doing here? My, my planet needs me. <laughs> oh. The end. Kirby Super says Dom referring to himself in the third person. I was referring to the character who happens to have the same name. Oh no, I think I had too much coffee. The all new Dom Bobblehead. Whoa, what? Grabbable light source. Oh no, I've fallen over at the party. Hang on. Too much tap water. <laughs> yeah, so there's this thing called Game Builder Garage. It's on the Nintendo Switch. It's really cool. You should check it out. <laughs> what? <laughs> Game Builder Garage. <laughs> uh, I gotta use the bathroom. I'm going. <laughs> 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 Alright, let's take the black hole over. Someone's game. We fought a black hole. Now it's time to turn the tide. Oh. Not again. Not again, Foxy. Is this something you want to tell the class, Dom? <laughs> Wait, why didn't Voxy make a noise? There we go. Oh, Mustard's still here. Let's get Mustard back. Get over here! I said, get over here! Oh yeah, the slow-mo! Okay, we need to try the slow-mo. <laughs> Gumby says, put the frog on the green screen! Oh wait. <laughs> Wait, which is the slow-mo button? There we go, I found it. 
I think I'm going to move the light source because I think it might affect the green screen because we want it to be very flat shaded, don't we? There we go, that'll probably help. Oh, hi, Dom. I brought us some dinner. Oh, great. I'm very hungry. It's pie orbs. Oh, no! First try, chat! First try! <laughs> I think I just caught a glimpse of like a one, one pixel dumb fall across the horizon. Man, this rocks. I'm gonna do a quick reset. I like there's a weapons gate here. A stack? Oh, not like that, we can't. Okay. Steady. St oh, it's gonna be it's gonna be very challenging, I think. Oh, it's gonna be very challenging. Make a gumby highlight. Hi there, everyone. I'm Gumby, everybody's favorite green goo. You may know me from such highlights as... Dom did a thing. Uh-oh. That wasn't meant to happen. And... Wow. The amazement of video editing. Today, I would like to talk to you about... the hazards involved in highlights. Prior to making highlights, I was a normal human being. Now, I'm Gumb. Can I... Can I throw a hammer and a person at the same time and slow-mo them? <gasps> oh, who is this? Is this Mr. O? Oof. We have to wait to find out who it is. So cinematic. Who is it? Their face got slapped off. Oh no! Oop. Well, it was grape juice. More like space juice. Alright, I'm going back to my stacking attempt. I love the little uh, logos everybody's got on their chest. Oh, we need to do this like a house of cards. Hang on. Everyone can go on their side. We'll put one as a bridge. There we go. 
Oh no, it's not gonna work. Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Voxy says, whenever you slow-mo, it's like you're about to do. Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I got in this situation. <laughs> okay, can I make this work? I really hope so. Oops! Sorry, Monopoly man. Oh, no! Oh, that's very good! Curb explodes, I didn't realize. Get out of here. Sorry, Voxy. Who's the number seven, by the way? I'm completely blanking on who this is meant to be. Mousy is a slippery object. One slippery object. Oh, it's Freddy Killer, of course. Yeah, yeah. Right, I understand the seven now. Okay, let me try this. Oh, you can't throw the, um... Can't throw the black hole. Oh, no! Friends! <gasps> they all made it past! Oh, no! This is so cinematic! Chiluba says, how did Dom blow up the sun? It's not just games I break, Chalupa. Well, there goes Sarge. Let's bring Voxy back down to Earth. Oof. <laughs> TSA final episode. Okay, now I want to see... Can I... So I'm guessing what happened there was Curb exploded? Let's see if we can make Curb explode... Explode... On the ground here. Hmm. First test... Not very successful. Second test yields similar results. Oh, Curb just explodes in slow mo. Okay, good. Hey, Curb, what's going on? Oh man, the explosion is just so e epic. Mr. O over there just trying to pretend like everything's going normal. <laughs> Boxy says, Dom, I only have three functioning brain cells and yet you still giving me head keep giving me head trauma. I apologize, Boxy. Oh, everybody everybody went everywhere. Can I launch myself into space? Oh, is it What is this? Hang on. Look at Grape Juice's little smile. It's a very cute Grape Juice. A hole for putting people in, says Elite. <laughs> Something broke. Hey, Dallas, how you feeling? Oh!
He's bad dade. Oh, hang on. <laughs> this is how grape juice is made. Hang on. How galaxies are formed, I'm pretty sure. Can I break GBG by spamming curb too often? Oh, my wrist is turned at such a weird angle right now. Oh, it kind of... I guess it cuts the explosion short? Yeah, this is like drawing with a sparkler. I'm trying to uh, bring Curb closer to us. Yeah. Let's get Curb over here in regular speed. reset. Slippery mousy. Okay, here we go. Curb is flying around. <laughs> What just happened? I really want to launch myself. I don't think I can. Ooh, maybe if I put Mousy below me? Okay. Oh, I can get some, some decent height. Yeah! That's pretty cool! Could do cool skateboard tricks in the air. Oh! Oh no! We landed on the black hole! Okay. Mm. Let's have a not not skateboard. Oh no! Get out of here, black hole. Alright, we'll use a Voxy skateboard this time. Voxy does sound like a good skateboard brand, honestly. Gnarly! Totally radical! First person trick my skateboard game, that's right, Arch. That's all the paparazzi's taking cool photos of us. Whoa, gnarly! Okay, one last launch. I don't quite know how to, um, how to, like, successfully launch stuff in slow-mo. Hang on. If I 
throw them around a lot in slow-mo when I let go will the momentum be maintained? Let's see. <laughs> Sorry, mister. I guess not really. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. See a curves workshop. Hey Ashley, welcome to the stream. All right, elite this rocks. What if you throw the character, then put it in slow mo? Ooh, I think that will just be as expected. Do you really want to throw someone into the line of people, though? Oh, this is gonna be good. This is potentially gonna be very good. Oh, oh, oh. The must the drop kick. Yeah, Elite, this rocks. Oh, I bet I can make something really epic looking with the light and some slow mo. Ratty, really glad they're not here right now, I think. Who have we not played much with this time? Actually, you know what? Chalupa hasn't had had much of an outing. Oh no, I can't grab Chalupa anymore. There we go. Oh, Chalupa's had an outing now. Alright, let's have one quick look at the programming screen. Curb go boom. Curb go boom indeed. Oh, Elite, thank you so much for sending in Dom Gallery. That rocked. That was so cool. I love all of the little um, toys that you created for us to play with there. The black hole, Curb's explosions, the little crusher, the hammer, all fantastic. Okay, let's move on to Super Dad's creation, aka Andreas4637. It is the next installment of Alex Adventure. This is Alex Adventure 5. Another great thumbnail here. The description simply says, watch out for poop. At this point, I'm feeling like I'm pretty good at watching out for poop. Left stick to move, B to jump, difficulty easy, and it takes around 40 seconds to play. Thank you, Andreas4637, aka Cappy, aka Super Dad. Let's play. Animation paper, Alex Adventure 5. Ooh, we got some slopey slopes going on. I can hear some distant explosions too. Oh, it's this one. Oh no, it's not these guys. Something else is causing the explosions. Yeah, agreed, Chilupa. The block, uh, the block art style is really nice. Seeing the way that the art style of this game has changed over the various installments has been really interesting. I 
I think that's the first time I've first tried one of the Alex Adventure games. Curb asks, if you were to choose the most memorable Curb Zone game, which would it be? Oh man, that's too difficult to decide, Curb. Um, I mean, the one that spawned Mousy's dad and the Mousy's dad backstory back is a very memorable one. Um, there was one where Mousy helped make food, right? That one, that one I remember really making me laugh. I can't exactly remember the specifics right now, but... Maybe that one? This is great. Mousy Tui, of course, yes, that one curve definitely sticks out to me. Um, gosh, there's so many. I don't, I think I'd have to look at your programmer ID, and I think seeing, like, the thumbnails and seeing the names would probably... I'd be able to tell you categorically which one. Okay. Cappy, thank you very much for Alex Adventure 5. I feel very good at first trying that twice over. Um, it's making me feel pretty, pretty confident in my gaming abilities. Let's move on to our next one, which... It's a grape juice submission. It's a Dallas game with a very nice thumbnail here. Very happy grape juice. Dallas says, well, first of all, I should say it's grape juice hide and seek. Dallas says in the description, I had this grape juice model sitting in my games list for a while. So I decided to finish it up for this week and turn it into a collectathon game, just like Find My Eggies. So Find My Eggies was uh, a, um, sort of 3D collect-a-thon game that Dallas made um, a little while ago. It was showcased on Game Explain, and it was fantastic. It was followed up by another collect-a-thon game, so this seems to be another in that vein of games. I'm very excited to play some more because Dallas's environments are always fun to uh, navigate around. The controls are left stick to move, right stick for the camera, A to jump, X to sprint, um, but there is controls for Z, L, and Z, R for jumping and sprinting, which Dallas says is recommended as it's easier to move the camera when your thumbs stay on the joysticks. I agree. Um, difficulty is pretty easy until the final one, presumably the final collectible, and the playtime is between 10 and 20 minutes. Thank you very much, Dallas, for sending this in. Let's play Grape Juice Hide and Seek. Look at this little model. This is the stream of incredibly cute little 3D models. <sighs> Take it all in, chat. Wow, look at this fountain. Okay, one thing at a time. Curb says rocks already. Ah, this is what the straw's for. It's a little snorkel. Okay, so here's the board. I think this will show us all of the um, things we've collected so far. Nice big TV. Oh, oh I thought it was something hiding up there. Let's head up the mountainside. You can see a little portal here, I think. Yep. Oh, I found the parkour challenge! Dallas, this is such a great 3D model. I've just noticed the transparency on the straw as well. Oh! Yeah, can you see the transparency on the straw? It's got dithering. There you go, you can see the inside of the straw. It's very nicely done. It might not be showing up in the stream, unfortunately, but trust me, it looked great. Do you remember when Dallas tricked me into thinking I was doing really good platforming, but then it turned out that you couldn't fall?
Oh. Oh. I feel like I, I should always aim to walk with the springing my step, like grape juice here. Two more jumps. Yes. Hey! Is that one collected? I think so, judging from that sound. The straw moves up and down as you walk. Oh, it does! What a nice little touch. Welcome to Mega Parkour, the UK's number one provider of parkour in the UK. Oh! Oh, we're going for a ride. Ow. Bye, car. Is this a... Yep, that's another one of the collectibles. Happy Charlie Day, everyone. That collectible volleyball. Let's go check in on the um, progress board. Nice, we've got four already. Okay, let's head back up the mountain because if you remember, I got sidetracked by the portal. I didn't make it very high up actually. Yeah, the fountain's so good, Chalupa. I love the flow of the water. Also, these flower beds are so nice. Oh, look at this smug little uh, shovel. <gasps> Keep going up. That's a nice little touch, the um, embedded shipping container there. bit of a BGM change as we get up high here, I think. Very appropriate for a dart to be up in the sky. Okay, let's see if we can get a nice view of what's going on here. There's an arrow there. Is that just another way up this way? I think it is. Um, I can see one in the tree there. I can see one on top of the rocket there. And I can see a watermelon guy over there. And then over by the big horse slash crane, there's one on top of there. Two on the clouds. There's a big button over here. Okay. All right, let's do this. Anybody hiding behind here? Oh, of course there is. Dallas says Boomerang is their little brother's character. Chalupa loves Dallas's textures and style. I agree, they are fantastic. I think how would we get up here? Oh, we can go inside this! It's Torch! Oh, Torch, you light up my life. Aha, here's the staircase. Yeah, Kirby Super says, I like how Torch's room is illuminated. Me too. This, this looks very steep. Oh no, how do I get up here? Do I have to wall jump? That seems very tricky. Do I have to wall jump here? 
Oh, Dallas, I'm not... I'm not cool gamer enough for this. Oh, no! Oh, no! Sploosh. Let's get the, um, one up here that I missed. Oh, wait, it was button up here. That was what it was. Hey, that takes us up to the clouds. Aha, uh -huh, we're gonna have to wait for the cloud to come round. Oh no. Was that staircase always there? Hmm, no, I don't think it was. Oh, don't wanna miss my stop. There we go. Ah, I thought I might be able to get a two for one here with the one on top of the rocket ship as well. I think I'm going to have to jump off here, then across to there. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Oh, and I missed the watermelon too. Hi Inky, yes, this is Dallas's game. Grape Juice TV's game. Okay, so we're going back for the watermelon here. I like the watermelon's little face. Oh wow, there's still a lot that we've missed. Okay, let's get up here and think strategically about what we do from this point on. Mm. Up the stairs we go. I really like the circular stairs with the extended cylinders in them. It's a great little design. Pose such a challenge. Okay, let's look for the other ones first. How does the reflection thing work that I showed in the skybox stream? Oh, hello. Um, I will reveal all as soon as possible. In regards to that. I'm guessing there must be something on top of that building, because why would there be stairs there? Ah, it's to get the, um, the one on the rooftop here. Or on the treetop, sorry. Your surprise is in the programming screen after you finish. Okay, Dallas, thanks for letting me know. Please don't let me forget to check. Oh, there's a yo-yo in this tree. What would I say the most popular GBG game is? Asked Toma. Um, well, I mean, if uh, my garage Doc Games is anything to go by. It'll be like the GTA game that got made in the first week, I think. I think that's still the most downloaded. Um, but popular for GBG games is a very difficult metric to... Very difficult metric to kind of quantify. Um, so yeah, outside of the My Garage games, I don't really know what else I would... Uh, What else I would uh, rank that way? Oh, I think I have to climb back up here and jump off.
already collected the dart, so we just need to drop down and collect the jar down here. Oh! What is this? Is this something? Is there a whole underground cave? There is! And Yo-Yo's here. I'm guessing I can just jump off. Yeah. Mm, right, let's check on the board. Still f uh, what is that, five? Six. Chalupa says, I love when a GBG game is so polished and user-friendly like this. Me too! I think it's something, certainly something to strive for. <laughs> is it mustard? Or is it a baby bottle? Oh, it's the fancy object room. Found you. There's a portal here too. Does this go somewhere? Hey, takes us out of the fountain. Nice. Okay, so still one, two, three, four, maybe five to collect. Dallas, do you have any pointers for me? Based on the four that I have remaining. Obviously one is at the top of the wall jump. So there should be three out in the world that I haven't found yet. One inside the tower. Oh, I didn't know we could get inside the tower. Is it on the next level up? Sign. How do we get in the tower? The blue tower. Oh, I missed one inside. Okay. And one behind the arrow sign. There's a few different arrow signs, so let's see if I can. squeeze through here. Hmm, hang on, that was a room. I think. Oh, no, 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 no. It's just the geometry. Oh, nice. Pulled it back from the brink there. It's gotta be something to do with this then. I guess. I missed one inside the tower. Do I have to jump down onto it? That'd be cool. Did I break it? I can't tell whether it was meant to go down here. Is that a secret route? Uh, I don't think this is a secret route. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, we went down and grabbed the seed. I see. Okay. Good, good, good. Okay, let's see how many more do we have left. Is it two or just one? Right, the floor... The floor had the container in it to indicate to us that the 
floor is not solid. Gotcha. Yeah, two remain, and Dallas did say that one is behind an arrow. It's just a case of finding which one. Not that one. I didn't go inside one of the buildings. Went in this one, went in that one. Went in that one over there. What buildings remain? Went in this one too. But I didn't collect anything in here, so maybe there's something else that I'm missing? Hey! It was the same... It was the same trick as uh, the container space. It's disco, everyone! Okay, it's just the wall jump one that remains. I love the little hippo in the water there, that's very cute. Oh no! Oh, that isn't even the wall jump challenge and I've already fallen down. a better technique than that because I feel like I'm gonna fling myself every time if I try and do it that way or jump diagonally oh no oh sorry I had an itchy ear there or jump diagonally too bad. There's paint bucket. Very nice. Do I need to head anywhere? I suppose now that we have them all it should have stopped. Oh! I'm still missing one! How did I miss it? Behind the sign. Oh yeah, I got distracted. Okay, let's have a look around for the sign. Oh, I maxed out the timer. Mm. Okay, so there's no signs over there. Oh, there's a sign here. Oh, look! Don't speak to me or my son ever again. We did it! And there's the fireworks to signify that we have completed it. Do some little pirouettes to celebrate. Very, very nicely done, Dallas. This rocks. <clears throat> really fun to explore. I love your collectathon games. Alright, let's check the programming screen. Oh no. Oh no. There he is. Oh, he's been contained. Thankfully he's been contained. He's inside the uh the not flux capacitor. If any of these three connections break, we'll be in trouble. Thanks for playing. I can't place any more objects, so this is just filler. That rocks. Ah, oh, Dallas, so good. 
is a summoning circle. It's got that energy, doesn't it? I think it's a containment field. I love that we've got even tinier little uh, little legs on on nasty nasty Dallas here. Oh, it's such a relief to see sweet Dallas on the thumbnail. Buff arms, tiny legs, that's right. Amazing stuff, Dallas. Really, really fun. Okay, let's keep moving. We have another submission that I'm very much looking forward to. And it comes in from Mercury Angel 23. A wonderful, a wonderful. Why do I keep messing up the word wonderful recently? A wonderful thumbnail for a wonderful new character design from Mercury. This is called KC3D Model. Uh, if you are not already, I've been having, or if you've not already joined, I've been having a lot of fun reading through Mercury's um, sort of development topic on the Discord lately. Um, and Mercury's been showing off their Casey design. And it looks like we're going to get a chance to check it out here as well. Uh, Mercury wrote a pretty lengthy description here, so I'm going to start reading through this. Recently, I've been working on making a 3D model of an OC in GBG. Quote, or not quote, parentheses, those who follow my GBG dev thread have already seen it, as I was saying. Mercury goes on to say, um, I'd like to use the 3D model for a player character in a game that I'll eventually like to do one day. However, due to node on heaviness and lots of jiggliness, the model itself is not going to appear in said game. Instead, I intend on using it as a base to make walking sprites using the GBG texture tool. Yeah, I'm very excited to see how that process turns out. Anyway, back to the description. But I still tried to put as much detail into it as possible, so I thought it would be a waste not to show off the model by itself in some capacity. So I added a nice little interface that lets, you play, uh, lets the player rotate each of the model's hinges individually to allow for walking poses as much as any other wild combination of body movements uh, and a toggleable backpack as well. Also a note, I made this model in an old game I still had lying around which is the same that is the same as the very first game that I submitted, you got a bat evolved from. Right, okay, I see. Yes, so Mercury's ev first ever creation. Man, it's wild to think back to you've got a bat. It wasn't really that that long ago. Um, it was a fantastic game right out of, out of the gates. Um, and Mercury's games have just kept getting bigger and better through time as well. Uh, anyway, so there's still some remnants of the first game that you've got a bat spawned out of. The controls are D-pad to navigate the arrows and A to confirm. There is then a bit of spoiler text here that apparently we can uh, unspoiler once we're done looking at the model itself. Difficulty, as hard as navigating any old menu. All right, so pretty tricky. Playtime, there isn't much, but you might want to take a bit of time to look at everything. Status finished. Okay, here we go. Casey Model 3D. <sighs> look at them. Wow, Casey's so polite, giving us a little bow as soon as we arrive. Oh, a full body bow. Very polite. I love this interface to be able to control the hinges. Casey's waving! Hey, Casey. Alright. We've got arm, we've got leg. Little, uh attitude-filled idle animation here. Foxy says we need more dev tools getting submitted. I agree! 
Ah, oh, shucks. Hang on, wait. Oh! Oh no! Sorry, Casey! Oh man. Let's rotate Casey so we can take a look at the backpack as well. Oh, look at that. Look at that! Art says, Dom, when are you going to make cute 3D models? <laughs> the way that I read it out sounded very accusatory. Hey, Neon Bro, aka Renee, welcome to the stream. Casey's flying. I do want to make some cool 3D models. Everybody else has been doing it. I don't want to miss out. Let's do a big kind of cartoon step here. Casey's Naruto running. Oh, Arch, I'm sorry for the lack of uh, Polygon Studio. Yakumono, uh, Yakumono? AKA Luigi Blood, who does all of the, um, translation work on the Polygon series, amongst lots of other really cool stuff, um, recently submitted a bunch of work to make the 64DD games work on a new emulator, um, that I've never checked out before, but I would like to also check that out. Uh, perhaps it will solve- Oh, I didn't realize that the torso one let you rotate us all the way around. Um, that I would like to check out because maybe it will solve my talent studio issues. Nice backflip, Casey! Let's go arms all the way up and we'll Superman pose. Yeah, there we go. Casey jumping for joy for being such a cool model. Can you make them do the Sonic Adventure pose? <gasps> uh, it's like... I mean, I can't rotate the face to look at me, but it's like an arm behind a leg, isn't it? Oops, wrong one. So it would have to be like... <laughs> I can't really do it. <laughs> sort of like this, I guess? Uh, handstand. I think Casey's head is too big. Not a problem that I've ever had. Um, uh, but we can try. <laughs> I love how wiggly the leg is. Casey's legs wobbling whilst handstanding. Casey is hiding. Huh, you found me! This is a cool BGM as well. I only just realized how much it rocks. Whoa, cool moves, Casey! Also, hang on. Can we just appreciate the 
Oh, I thought um, there was a texture on the bottom of the boots, but it is the... It's Casey's ankles. I was about to say the fact that there is texture on the bottom of the shoes. I love the detail on Casey's jeans. Oh, let's, let's get some cool moves going here. Now we're talking! Look at this! Oops, 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 oops. Man, I can already see how great uh, this model is going to translate to sprites. It's going to look so good. Look. I can just envision it now. Oh yeah, the spoilers! I forgot. Alright, let's have a look at the spoilers. <gasps> Excuse me? Hey, Ray! Okay, the spoiler says... Press these buttons in this exact order. X, A, B, Y, X to unlock a fun secret. Okay. X, A, B, Y, X. X. What? What Casey in about? In 3D. Can I still? I can't toggle the uh, the variables. Okay, wait. There's more to the spoiler though. Uh, so look at this. Once you do that, left stick to move the camera. Right stick. Sorry, left stick for the character, right stick for the camera, A to sprint, B to jump, press right stick to have to skip having to enter the secret code. Ah. So we've got a 3D way to visualize all the cut content. And it looks like we've got a whole parkour course here. Extremely old stuff. Yep, that I think became Oh no! Oh sorry friend. I wanted to see their face. Ah, very nice. Test before I realized that I'd need more room for detail. Look at this little chibi robo! Very nice. Oh! <laughs> oh no! If you skip the secret code, you can still rotate the, uh, joints. I think. Oh, this is gonna be extremely difficult. This obstacle course looks so cool, though. I really like... Also, what is that that falls? Hang on. The left of the screen. Unclear. Oh man, it's gonna be incredible. Incredibly difficult. Casey's got roller skates on. I want to see what texture is on that cube. Alright, let's 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 give Casey a low uh, center of gravity here. Oh. I'm flying across the screen because I'm worried I won't make the jump, Chalupa. But you're right, I don't need to sprint here. That was my fatal error. Oh, this bit's gonna be so challenging. <laughs> I'm just bracing myself. Hang on, let me get my neck back to where it needs to be. Oh, 
Huh. Oh. Hmm. Okay, good, 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 good. Good. Yes, all right. Oh. What is a... Is that... Is that what I think it is? <laughs> it is. It's a little sponsored by Printco blog. Oh. Not anymore. Oh no, this is physics! <laughs> Me when I enter the wrong classroom at school. <laughs> okay. Oh, I've got to time this just right. Hey, Do I want to go down? Oh! Yeah! And we're rewarded with a little... A little, uh, Casey Sprite. This rocks! Voxy says, can't believe Mercury bamboozled us by putting a game in their dev tools. <laughs> also, yes, this is Mad Dash, not not. Oh. I love that my hat flies off. Looney Tunes style. Ah, oh, this is so great. I'm guessing um, there'll probably be some comment nodons in the programming screen as well. <gasps> I can do this! Okay, Casey, I need you to crawl this time. It's gonna be... It's gonna be the best option, I promise. This is how ninjas do it. Oops, that's leg. Okay, you ready, Casey? See, I told you, Casey. Oh! Maybe we could Naruto run. Now we're talking. Oh, wild. Nice. Looking good, Casey. I'm getting a nice little, uh, BLJ setup here. Mm -hmm. Wow, is that Casey? In their invisible automobile? Oh no! There we go. This rocks. Let's check out the programming screen. I guess because we had the sort of uh, museum of cut content in the 3D world, there might not be anything here. Although we do get a lovely Printoco logo here, or sponsorship texture. And, of course, the Casey Sprite. This is the rocks. Uh, I don't think Mercury's here, but... Mercury, this is great. Uh, I love your ability to turn your, you know, previous sort of remnants of games. Or, yeah, as uh, Voxy said, turn a dev tool, which is already 
amazing to see because we do rarely get to see it into a game of its own right really great stuff so glad you sent this in I was just having a check to see if there's an end game state I don't think there is unless it's that what's this no there is not so good Chalupa says Mercury always making bangers agreed as the code for KC 3D model and sounds like it's a good good while away but I can't wait to see what you do with this down the line Mercury at your own speed of course all right next up is Kirby Super's game and it is called Sonic Flow Engine so let's find that There it is. Description. An expanded version of the engine I used for Sonic Turbulence with tighter controls, new power-ups, and new moves. Controls are pretty hard to explain, so I made a manual if you would like to read it uh, either before or on stream. I'm going to bring that up now on my phone. Difficulty is easy. Playtime, five minutes if you aren't a baby gamer. It's work in progress and will continue to add more things in the future. Cool. Kirby Super, thank you very much for sending this in. I'm bringing up the controls here. We've got a, a lovely manual uh, dock with things like the spin dash, the recurl, the double spin, and the roll all documented alongside the power-ups, which include the electric uh, shield and snowboard. But for now, I'll read through the controls, which are left and right with the D-pad, crouch with the D-pad down, and B for jump. All right, let's jump in to Sonic Flow Engine. Nice, so we've got some momentum-based movement. Oof. So if we jump, we curl up, and land on the enemies. Straight ahead for tubes, so let's not oh, not go too high. Yeah, the jump spinning is so good, Chalupa. Oh, okay, so I got moved automatically through those sections. And we've got air streams that take us up as well. That was a loop? Oh, oh you can't recollect your... Uh, coins. So if you take damage, the coins are gone. Yep, the coins. Just, just like Sonic always collects. I love the fact that the chat is just filling with the word coins. Oh, that's a really smart bounce pad. Agreed, Dallas. This is very cool. I think the mechanics here are really, really, really great. Nice! We got the snowboard power up. Go. I want to get that snowboard power up again. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Sorry. <laughs> I wasn't fast enough, says Kirby Super. Okay. Yes! Yes! Oh, is that one of the... it is. Oops. 
Woohoo! Okay, here's the snowboard, right? Coming up. By the way, there's some good HD rumble going on when we uh, bounce on the bounce pads. Coins? Okay, here we go! Gotta go quickly! Oh, it's the end! Hey, we supersonic now. Or oh, it's electrical shield. I love the fact that the electrical shield is 3D around the 2D sprite. Yes! Oh. Oh, wait. Steady. Hey, Jeff. I hope you are well. Ah, the electrical shield was meant to attract rings, but because I'd already collected the ball in that area, we didn't get to see that demonstrated. Ah, and the gates closed down for the tubes as we pass through. Ooh. See ya, Chalupa. Good luck with your homework. So I think there is one route I still haven't been, right, once we get to the fork in the road. Let's go up this way. And let's try going right. Oh, that would have taken us to the electrical shield. Oh no, I think I'm gonna sneeze. Oh, I double sneezed, but I managed to mute in time. Jess says, I went to play an IRL platformer. It was fun, but kind of hurt. Uh oh, do you mean like a obstacle course? speed up here and go over this ramp. Oh! Hang on. Nice. This rocks. Let's take a quick look at the programming screen. I want to see these sprites up close. Oh, look at this one. This one rocks! Sonic looking extra cool on the skateboard, or a snowboard, excuse me. And the level laid out very nicely here. Here's our power up PC for the snowboard, and then the electrical one. Oh, oh that's the spikes. Where's the electrical? Is it this one? Yeah, there we go. The little lightning bolt. Very, very nice. Ah, oh, Kirby Super, thank you for sending that in. That was the Sonic Flow Engine. Uh, love the fact that you've made a manual for your game. I think that's the first time I've seen anyone create a standalone manual for a GBG game. Um, and I do love the Sonic art at the very top of it. If and when you continue to work on this, please do send it in. I would like to see how it progresses. We are now down. Kaiden, thank you very much for subscribing. I hope you're enjoying today's stream. 
Uh, we are now down to the final three submissions. However, uh, one of these, at least one of these, is going to be a pretty, a pretty meaty one, I think, because it is the final two chapters of Power Box 2, Pack 5 and 6. We played 4 and 3 last time, so let's continue the adventure of the two little puzzle-solving robots. Oh, wait, I didn't read the description. Hang on. Hold, please. The description says, The last level made so far, plus the intro cutscene for the final boss. The difficulty is medium, uh, and the playtime should be around 10 minutes or less. Controls left joystick to move, B to jump, A to transform, Y for character action, X for swap, X on player 2 for remote uh, sorry, X on player 2 remote to activate local play, so that's uh, co-op if you're playing with two people. L to read, R to grab or magnetize, and we should play it with Joy-Con vibration enabled. It's technically complete, but Dr. Zoom is in chat and says pack 7 is still heavily in, uh, in development at the moment. Okay, let's see what happens next to these these two. Oh yes, we got a little sneak peek of this before, didn't we? Oh no, I didn't realize the wall was coming! Okay. Okay, I need to be fast. Oh, how am I gonna do this in time? Because I think I'm gonna get... Gonna get bopped by the robot. Oh no, hang on. That robot doesn't attack me. I thought it was gonna... That was gonna blast me. Oh, he does, he does, he does. Okay. Hmm. Do I just need to be super speedy? Whoops. Oh dear, I messed up. Let's reset. Oh, Dr. Zoom says it's almost like flashing a light in enemy territory sets of an alarm. Okay, so it doesn't just activate uh, automatically. I see. Okay, we can spend some time now. Right, this is a stealth section then. Oops, wrong side of the box. Ah, oh, Curb, yeah, you'll have to scrub back if you want to check out the KC3D model. There's a lot there to see. destroyed the box, but I can now walk behind the guard. Okay, what are these two gonna do? Mm, let's try... Okay, ball form is no good. Yes, Kirby Super, this is two-player compatible. Okay, back into ball form, through the tubes. I do love the movement through the tubes very much. Trying to grab the box here. Okay, then back to player one. Can I jump over them? Okay, but I think... Oh, 
Oh, Dr. Zoom says, hey, it's, hey, look, it's two handsome bots. And then says, those blue and yellow bots look familiar. Hmm. I wonder, who could it be? Okay, you can't b push blue through. What's the trick for those two then? So we don't have a box anymore. Did I already try rolling through? Sometimes the simplest action is the right one. Okay, we just, oops, we just need to jump over them. I pressed the wrong button there. I was definitely overthinking it. I feel like I've, uh, I've kind of been trained to figure out a slightly different solution for each of the two bots, but I think, yeah, we should be able to just jump over with both of them. That's great. Pink was stuck in the tube there for a second. Turned into bot form too soon. Okay, so let's try this. Oh, that was a bad jump. Thomas says, can I have a game idea? Um, air traffic control simulator, uh, where you have to help coordinate the landing of several planes simultaneously. Mind putting a platform in that pillar in the room? Hang on a sec. This pillar? Which button is it? Oh! Oh, is there a secret back there? There was. Hang on. Mm, there is a secret! <clears throat> oh, it's a lever! Huh. Huh. Interesting. Okay. All right, let's try jumping over here. <laughs> Raises, I thought it was the Mac OS face. out what's going to be the panic wants me to give them an idea too um a platform game where every platform you stand on every platform you jump on makes you taller jumped badly. Using the platform might help. Oh yeah, of course, we can put a platform down for blue, can't we?
Peb's workshop saying already messed up repeatedly in chat is not only spam, but really not helpful. Um, these are puzzle games. I'm happy to kind of puzzle them out. Oh dear, I set off the alarm. Okay, we'll take this as a test run here. I guess that would have set off the alarm. The purple thing, because it wasn't solid. So then we'll platform here. Oh wait, now I'll platform a little bit more. Mm, too far, too far, too far. We'll morph ball through here through the bubble tea straw. And... Then... Switch back. Platform. Jump up. And over. Jump up. And over. Okay. Is this going to be solid this time? I guess I could... Oh. Okay, it's not solid. I think if I'm quick enough here, I can duck around this corner, hopefully. Be safe. Will I be safe? Find out soon enough. Oh, blue can't touch that grill. I see, Dr. Zoom. I see, I see, I see. Okay, I've got it this time. Bring pink over, get the platform up. A bit more over there. Very nice. Jump up. Mm hmm. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay. Rotate through here? No, okay. Hey, Coastwood! Oh, yeah, I do now, uh, Dr. Zoom. Dr. Zoom says it's meant to be a bowling ball rack if you remember from the tutorial. So, yeah, in the very um, first installment of this, we used pink um, in in ball form to travel along a little sort of bowling ball rack. Oh dear, I did the wrong one! Alright, we'll speed our way through as best we can. If I can just get blue around the corner, they may be safe. 
<sighs> Phew, okay. Nice. This is also the perfect BGM to build tension here. Oh, I think Pink hadn't quite pressed that button. Hmm. Do I also need to press a button with blue? Because I can see that there's a pink on the left-hand side and blue on the right-hand side of that door there. So I'm guessing maybe we need to power up the door somehow. Hang on one sec. I want to really make sure that I'm pushed up against that button. Hmm. I don't see anything that blue's meant to power up here. What do you reckon, chat? Blue's got the light power and the turning into a box power. Oops, Dirty Zoom says, it's almost like there is a letter of a button on the door. Oh, do I need to go back to the switch? Because there was an L, wasn't there, when we pushed the, uh, pushed that column. Oh, just press L1 next to the door. Oh, I gave that a try. Let me try again. Voxy, never... You never need to, uh... Apologize for lurking. It is very exciting to hear that you are... Working on a little something, too. Missing here. Try and pressing L. I need to get them both down here and do it. Right, okay. Yes, I did. Oh, the big door's opening. There used to be four of us. Red, blue, yellow. Only I remain. I've been expecting you. You're quite the hassle. Just like the boy Red disposed of. You kinda remind me of him. The boy left something. I can't read it. Maybe you can. When you're done. Let's get this over with. Uh-oh! So, I believe that's where this pack leaves off for now. Because I think the final fight is still under construction. Uh, Dr. Zoom, correct me if I'm, if I'm mistaken on that. Jump into the portal to end. Okie doke. Not Knock says, this is sweet. Yeah, Not Knock, I guess you've seen most of this series played on stream. Uh, but if you haven't, if you've missed any parts, I would definitely recommend going to Dr. Zoom's programmer ID. Um, and checking through all the previous packs for Powerbox. It was a treat. 
the whole way through. Final boss is in development, says Dr. Zoom. Yes, just as I anticipated. Really good stuff. Um, more great puzzles. Thank you, Dr. Zoom, for sending that in. Glad that I was able to finish it. Next up, we have... Oh, man, I'm always excited to see Mr. Nomad's name in the list. We have a pinball work in progress from Mr. Nomad. Let me... Uh, bring that up. I'll leave the code for the power box packs up for a second longer because I realize I didn't stay on them for very long at the beginning. Um, yes, Mr. Nomad's game is pinball, work in progress. Let's find that. Here it is. Hot off the heels of chess. Mr. Nomad is tackling another classic uh, the description says, Small pinball game with a ball that screams in terror when flying at high speed. <laughs> Parentheses, just don't let the ball fall into the void because it might be very loud. <laughs> Finally, uh, a simple game with simple control schemes. L and R to use the flippers. Right stick down to pull the launcher and release the stick to launch the ball into the board. Difficulty none. Playtime, you can decide. Nice! So Mr. Nomad... Uh, expanding their repertoire even further, this time with Pinball. <laughs> that is one squealy little ball. I'm glad it didn't fall into the void. <laughs> Sounds like a Star Wars droid. Ooh, ooh, that was a little portal, nice. Or a little tunnel, I guess. Man, I love the sound effect. <laughs> uh, oh, back into the launcher. What is the six counting up there? Is that how many, um, how many balls? There's no point scoring yet, is there? point i haven't commented on the motion blur the motion blur is really cool man i can't believe i didn't I, I guess i saw it and then didn't really think about it it works so well Bobby says all pinballs should sound like this i agree okay i i need to do something I need to I need to find something out. I know we were told expressly not to, but I want to know. <laughs> oh, we popped out of existence at the end there. Hang on, wait. Is it going to be incredibly deep to begin with? <laughs> oh, 
RJ says, sounded like the OG Kirby inhale. That's a good point. Yeah, it really does, doesn't it? Um, so, where's the sound effect? Is it this? Is it that? Oh, that's not a sustain one, is it? It is that, but it's not a sustain one. Um, man is there, I think. Oh, I love Goat Simulator. <laughs> Are there other sustains? I guess in percussion, yeah, we could do snare roll. Could we pair two up? Mm. That's very good. They're kind of similar to each other. I never really noticed that. Oh, the slimiest bomb ever. Oh yeah, why didn't I try, um... Why didn't I try screaming, woman? Oh, no! <laughs> it was too much. Oh, we should do double chorus soon. <laughs> double chorus all the way. Ooh, I feel like I've heard someone use that in their games before. All right, one last one. Is there anything else here that we can loop? Double white noise, this might be horrific. Hmm, something's in the fryer. Whatever you do, don't do high C chip tune. Oh, this is gonna be a mistake, isn't it? I'm gonna get ready to click off straight away. Okay, that was already... That was already getting too much. Oh, Mr. Nomad, this rocks! Hang on, I need to unbreak everything. Oh, you know what? We we could we could switch a sound effect while we're in here. Uh, I wish the cat would sustain. I'm sad that the cat doesn't sustain. And Mr. Nomad, please have sound packs for this. Please have selectable sound packs. Or at least consider it. what just like two different chip tunes would sound like together oh 
Oh, this is the NES version of this. This is the NES version of Mr. Nomad's Pinball. How about every constant sound at once? Oh, that sounds brutal. I feel like... I feel like it's, um... I feel like if I switch the... Thing to neon, this will look a little more, uh, a little more Mr. Nomad as well. Oh man, the trail looks very good in neon. Also, how do you make only certain objects neon again? I forget. Is it to do with textured and untextured? Is that what it is? Do it with the motor sound. Mm, where's that? Is that in machines? <laughs> oh, I hate. I hate the ball with the launcher there. Oh, it's the color. Ah, thank you, Mr. Nomad. Oh, incredible stuff. Uh, I know that this is a very early work in progress, but I'm already uh, having a lot of fun with that, Mr. Nomad, so thank you for sending it in. Okay, it is time now to move on to our final game. And this comes in from Seasters. Now, Seasters has, sub has submitted a lot of games over the uh, the year and a bit that GBG's been out, but this is a while since our last submission, so Seasters, thank you for sending this in. It is called Win, Lose, Banana. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, it is a three-player game. So I will have to demonstrate it best I can here on my own. The description says, A three-player game of lies and truths. Each player will receive a role. It is the job of both the banana and the lose player to verbally convince the winner player that they have the banana, even if they do not. The winner will then choose a player they believe has the banana. If they are right, both the winner and the banana player win the game. If they are wrong, only the lose player wins the game. So, who is the better liar slash truth teller? The controls are explained in game. Uh, and there is no difficulty because it's a co-op game or a multiplayer game, excuse me. Oh, Mr. Nomad says, Dom, this game has been sitting on the shelf for a while. Ah, uh, okay, so it's come, you've come back to one that, uh, or you've submitted one that you uh, haven't touched for a while. Okay, win, lose, banana. Let's give it a play. Great name. <laughs> I like the third Joy-Con. Oh man, look how they've uh, how they've achieved the third Joy-Con. It's the blue fancy object with a box over the top. So good. Three players, exactly one Joy-Con per player. All right, so I also will not be able to um, use all three Joy-Con here. Everyone, hold your Joy-Con to your ear. Then press Z, L, Z, R. Okay, I'm gonna put the two Joy-Con next to my mic. Let's see if it can pick this up. Oh, because I don't have three Joy-Con, I'm not gonna be able to play it. Hang on. Can 
Can I rebind the control just to the same Joy-Con again? This will probably break everything, but this is the best chance I've got to uh, play this with only two Joy-Con. If your Joy-Con is not vibrating right now... Oh! So my right Joy-Con, player two, was vibrating. But uh, my player one and player three Joy-Con were not. Both the non-winners now verbally, verbally convince winner of having banana. Winner will pick up and shake Joy-Con they believe has the banana. If correct, both winner and banana win. If wrong, only lose wins. After winning, shake... Uh huh. After winning in ring. A winner in ring shakes. If your Joy-Con remains, you win. Ah, uh, this is very cool. I love the idea of using Rumble to uh, hide information from other players. Because I was thinking, well, if it, how is it going to communicate to one player without just kind of spoiling the game for the others? Um, but Rumble is such a smart way of doing it because, you know, if you're playing this all on one couch at home, all three of you, you're all going to be able to see the TV at the same time. Um, but you can surreptitiously give information to one of those three players through the uh, information provided by the the rumble here. Okay, so player two rumbled this time. Nice! Ugh, I'm sorry that I'm not able to show this one off more, but if you've got three Joy-Con, and two friends at home. Definitely check out Seaster's Win Lose Banana. And as I said before, it's been a while since we've had a submission from Seaster's. So thank you very much, Seaster's, for sending this in. Uh, I wonder whether Seaster's was prompted to make this um, by having two other friends or family members that they regularly play Switch with. Nice, okay, so that is the last of the submissions for today. However, we have two games that I would like you to select between for us to um, attempt to complete in our wormy head portion of the stream. And let me just remind myself on one of those. I remember one of them. It was the Kirby game from someone. Kirby versus Dark Matter. And there was one more. Oh, technically we didn't finish Zero G. So, let me start up a poll here. For Wormy. Zero G. Golfing. Or... Kirby, what is it called, officially? I've lost it, where is it? This Kirby moves. Am I being very silly here? There it is, Kirby versus Dark Matter. All right. I'm going to ask the community which one they would like to see. Lucien says, feels like a long time since we've had a wormy vote. It really does, doesn't it? So in case you're watching for the first time, um, the wormy vote here, sometimes called wormy heads, sometimes called wormy hour, um, is to decide which of the games that were too tough for me to finish during the main portion of the stream. I will go back and attempt to finish one of these. We are currently at 10 votes and a 50-50 split between Zero-G Golfing and Kirby versus Dark Matter. 
Make sure to get your vote in, have your say. There is still 21 wormy heads here. Also, if you haven't already liked the stream, we are at 46 likes. Um, let's see if by the end of the stream we can make it to 50 likes. We have 12 votes and we're still at 50-50. Zero -50. Dree Golfing has just taken the lead. I will leave this open for about a minute more. I just finished off my water. Hey, we made it to 52 likes. Well spotted, big boy. Oh, it's 56% for zero G golfing, but Kirby versus Dark Matter is catching up with 47% of the vote. 30 seconds left on this, but it looks like it's gonna go, I think, to zero G golfing. This was sent in by Daigo earlier. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Polls are closed, and the winner is 0G Golfing. With 55% of the vote, 18 of you voted in total. Let us see how I fare in zero G golfing. DRN asks, what did I think of your countdown? It was excellent. We used it as the drink break. San Fanboy asks if I'm gonna make a tutorial for the Skybox. I'm not because it's kind of a complex process that I I mentioned in my tutorial or not my tutorial my stream that I don't think I I feel very equipped to make a tutorial. However, uh, I believe uh, and, and 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 if they are if they're here, uh, they can probably say for sure. But I believe Voxy is considering it. I don't want to make any promises for them and I don't want to put any pressure on them. But I think they have been considering it. No, this last stage always gets me. So this is where the challenge is gonna be. Foxy has commented in chat saying, I'm considering it, I want to see how far I want to take it first. Yeah, I'm excited to see whatever you come up with, if you do continue to uh, experiment with it. No! No, I thought for sure I had it that time. Hey, Renz, welcome to the stream. Yes, this is the Wormy game. Uh, I keep making it to the first, or the, the last, excuse me, stage without too much challenge. Uh, but that last one is proving tricky. Oh no! Oh no, I don't think I've ever gotten tangled up on this one before. Still made it through. Oh no! Come on! Oh man, Renz! Uh... 
I didn't realize our timings overlapped in a very inconvenient way. Um, it's always a treat to have you here, but I know that it's not always possible for everyone's schedules. But thanks for stopping by anytime you can. Can you go through the goal inside the square? Oh no, Kerr, if that's... If you can't, that's going to add another wrinkle to this. I'm guessing you can, because you can on this one. I feel like it would be it would be very cruel if you could on one and not on the other. Let's find out. Well, it's probably not going to be this time that we find out, to be honest. Oh, in fact, we know we can because I technically did win last time, but it was after... Um, it was after the timer ran out. I'm not cheating, Gumby. I'm doing this completely legit. There is no cheese here. <sighs> what is the trick to get through here faster? Oh! I did it! It doesn't matter, we don't need to do it faster. Oh, look at those, like, faux LED signs. That rocks! And the little emoji dance. Ah, oh, we did it! Thank you! Oh, I like the physics... physics lettering up here. See if we can write some le uh, write a word here with the letters. Let's just let them fall however they fall and see if it spells anything. Oh, I know what we could spell. I know what we could spell. I can maneuver the blocks. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna have to do it. We could have spelled hat, that's true. Once the blocks land, though, they're kind of locked in place. We would have struggled. Man, this was great. I'm glad that we came back to this one. Uh, for our wormy. I would have liked to have beaten... Um, the Dark Matter Kirby boss by someone. I feel like we got so close both times, or... All four times, I guess, when we tried it. Kirby Super just beat it on their second try. Man. Elite says, give Dom physics and you can make a whole scenario out of it. I do love physics. Contrary to popular belief, uh, as I may have given the impression during Mercury's uh, game when I got to that final platform, I do love, I do love physics. Very appropriate for this game as well, to have these zero-G objects. Do you love a good physics hunt? Alright everybody, we are just past the four hour mark today. Um, it has been a treat to play through everybody's games. If it was that close, why not jump into the Kirby game? I'll be honest, Lucia, I want to make sure that I don't push it too far with my, my throat today. Uh, I can feel that it is... Uh, kind of tight, um, and I'm worried that I will be uh, incapacitated if I push it too, too far. So I'm trying to know my limits today. Um, yes, everybody, thank you for submitting your games. If you have a game you would like to submit for next stream, please do send it via the Discord. There is a link to the Discord in the description. 
as always. And I will see you very soon. Have a good rest of the day. And I'll catch you again some other time. Bye-bye. <laughs>